How you doing, everybody? I'm Artis Brian Sheffield. It's good to have you with me back today. Uh, I'm going to do another little piece of art today. I'm going to call this, uh, I'm not sure if I'm coming to call it Time Wave or Space Wave, something like that. We're going to give it a name, but I'm not sure yet what that name's going to be. Uh, I'll have to think about it some more. And uh, anyways, just start off with something basic like this. And uh, that gives you a basic wave coming across this way. Of course, you want to add some excitement going on around here. So, uh, spray out some black, some blue. If you want to add color in there, then that's entirely up to you. You can throw a little red in there. Ain't going to hurt nothing. You can even throw yellow or whatever color you want it. Give you kind of a, kind of a look like that. I like to use my spray caps on these 18 by 24 inch canvases. Uh, you can use whatever it is that you want to. You don't have to use a spray cap. You can use whatever kind of round material you got just laying around. come off of something like that. You gotta be real careful when you pick these up. When they're all the way on the canvas like that because if you don't it won't come out right now. We'll end up later on we'll, we'll put that back down and we'll just barely tap just to kind of define it a little bit but uh, we'll do that later. Now you want to highlight your wave a little bit, just like we did in, uh, just like we did in the uh, the Ice Dragon Nebula. Except what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag some blue, and I'm going to make it thicker through here, and then a thinner line on the top. And then when that dries, I'll come back again, and then I'll do some white between the right there on the edge of the white and uh, actually I got this idea from a TV show that I used to watch a long long time ago and uh, I don't know how many of you used to watch it but uh, I'll just uh, I'll just say this I'm going to call this the uh, the Nexus wave because I all right really enjoyed watching that show a long time ago and it's been a while since I watched it but I really like all the idea of the possibility of what could happen if people actually got along in the world but the way things are there's just way too much hatred in this world People wanting to cut each other's heads off and all that kind of crap. I'm sorry, but I, I, I could never approve of uh, any human being saying that, you know, you need to have your head cut off just because of, well, whatever, whatever reason. Just insane to me. Now you don't have to worry about making your line perfect on this side. You want your line perfect on this side 
because when you come back and do that white highlight, we'll do the lightning thing. And uh, I remember seeing that in the show. It had a little electrical current all the way along the boundary of it. And it was going off like that as it flowed through space. And I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, I was like, man, I, I'm going to paint that one day. That's been a long time ago. But I always start at the bottom because that's where your thickest line is going to be. And then you draw your brush up to the top and you ease off on that brush pressure. And it makes it thinner on the top and thicker on the bottom. So I always start at the bottom of the wave like that if you're going to going to do something like this in particular and it'll give a little bit of movement to your painting too. It'll, uh, it'll add a little bit of movement in there because you have that vari variating line going like this and it'll make it almost look like it's moving. working on this until you get to a point where all the way there to the end you want to dip one last time for the bottom of this wave right here Together. Remember, it's the fine line on this side that you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. The, the blue on this side, you really ain't got to worry about it because we're going to come back with white and, uh, and do some more of this. But uh, I'm going to keep going with this blue because I'm going to do some other highlighting out here with this blue and like I said you just follow along these rip lines and I had a request from somebody that they want me to uh, take this basic background and, and show them exactly how I did that so in my next video this coming weekend I'm gonna do some of, I'm gonna go outside so it'll be a little bit longer video and uh, I don't always talk on all my videos because sometimes I just really don't want to explain the whole time while I'm trying to paint because I want to concentrate on what I'm painting. Uh, it's really kind of difficult. But I do enjoy talking about it sometimes and, uh, you know, give everybody some tips and pointers if they're interested in giving it a shot. But uh, on this particular one, I'm going to be doing a lot of highlighting in this galaxy because this is where, this th that, that is the focus of the painting. I, I want the galaxy to look really, really nice. And uh, you follow along some of these dark, where, where the dark and the light meets, and, and you kind of follow along that. And... Uh, it give you a nice highlight in there and uh like i said what it does it adds variation of color and it adds depth at the same time that uh that you're getting this and uh hell i could go ahead and sign sign it down here because i always sign it down here in these corners If you ever see a painting of mine and it's signed in a place besides right down here, then I didn't make it. 
my, 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 my signature is always in that bottom right hand corner, every time. So don't let anybody blow any smoke up your ass and say, oh, Brian Sheffield made this. No, he didn't. His signature's in the wrong place. Now it's on video for everybody to see in here. Now we're going to come in with some white highlights here in this Galaxy 2. But I wanted to do some of this dark blue to kind of go along with it. Remember you just kind of, kind of do a random abstract thing. And now uh, you can even concentrate in an area like what I'm doing right now. But when you're done with a piece like this, it turns out really pretty and really nice. I know it takes a long time to get it done, but that's okay. Okay, what you want to do now is you want to cover this moon back up. That you made or this planet, planet, moon, however you want to do it. Depends on whether you want to add a bunch of color or you could even make it into a sun if you wanted to. You could do do a sun and then put a yellow glow around it if that's, that's what you wanted to do. But, uh, come off some of this white, of course, and throw some stars. Then you might have to come back. I want to concentrate some stars right down here because I want to bring a little bit of focus this way because you got it bright right here. So we want to make it extra bright down here to kind of balance it out. So just a few over there because remember that wave is kind of covering up some of them background stars so it'll be all right uh, I might have to come back and touch up that dark blue just a little bit but that's okay but uh, I'm gonna let this dry out for a few minutes take me a break and then I'll come back and finish the piece with some white highlighting For this white, I'm opening up my little can, and you can see I've got this liquid paint here, and uh, it's an old base paint, just like the uh, just like spray paint, so that they're compatible. That way, you don't have to worry about uh, you know paint peeling up or anything like that. They'll they'll dry nicely together, and uh, I remember in that show that I was watching, it, like, like I was talking about before, it had kind of a so it, it kind of fits in with the themes that I've been kind of going along because it had a had a lightning bolt riding along the edge of it. And I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, the edge of the wave wasn't exactly a perfect little line, so if uh, your hand bobbles a little bit, that's okay. You just want to make sure you get good coverage and take your time with it. And uh, don't be afraid to keep dipping in, in, in your brush there as much as you need to. I also burned this canvas when I was outside and it's got some relief to it. Can you hear that? As opposed to this, it's smooth right here. Over here it's got relief, like a nebula thing going on, and, and it makes it, uh, I figured out that, that it helps give you a little depth in your work. And uh, 
Anyway, I've always liked that some of these science fiction shows that they come out with, they got some pretty neat ideas for like different types of technologies and things of that nature. Uh, I'm not a techno geek by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, uh, I'm really not very good at computer stuff and office work. It's not my thing. I can hit the power and record button on this video camera, but not a whole lot more. That's about it for me. I know how to upload it and stuff, but you start getting too fancy with that office work and well, it's just not my forte. I work with my hands. And I use my brain power to think of different kinds of patterns and stuff. More like a concept type of deal than I do concentrating on electronics and office work and stuff. So that's kind of why you get this At least I have figured out how to do some things with the video camera. I know how to splice videos together now. I guess that's pretty cool. I learned that since I've been doing this. When I first started to do these videos, I uh, really didn't know that much about it. And my video camera only records up to 20 minutes at a time. And then it starts recording another session. So I had to figure out a way to circumvent that and make just one long video because I know that some of the people out there has commented that they like the longer videos and, you know, kind of watch it as it happens in regular normal speed. And that's pretty cool. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, that Twisted Face Nebula I just put up, uh, I was kind of making fun of politics when I named it the Hillary Clinton Nebula. You know, everybody likes to post on Facebook all these crazy politic images, and one of them is Hillary, Hillary Clinton's face all twisted up like a crazy woman. You know, and I thought that was pretty funny, so it's just a parody type of deal. I don't necessarily endorse uh, any particular candidate this time. I really like Mr. Mr. Carson. I think he's a, a highly intelligent man and uh, you know people like him is who, who we really need in there he uh, people that can grasp higher concepts and uh, understand a lot of things that other people don't I couldn't, uh, I don't think I could do brain surgery. That's a fact. Uh, hats off to you, Mr. Carson. I, I've heard some of the things that you say and and listen to you speak, and you've got a lot better, <laughs> a lot better speech ability than me. I'm afraid all of my, all of my skills went into my fingers. Uh, I can explain a little bit, but, you know, I'll probably never be a Bob Ross or anybody like that. I'm not quite quite that good at, you know, the explanation part of it. I try, I, you know, I tell you what I know as best as I can and hope that you understand what it is I'm trying to tell you. If anybody ever has a question and you want to have a conversation with me, I welcome welcome your your conversation and uh, if anybody has any special requests then I'll be happy to do it uh, to the best of my ability like I said I'm not the greatest artist in the world but I do enjoy making beautiful things and, or at least make the attempt don't always work out but that's okay a lot of things in life don't work out just the way you want It's okay. I know that God loves me and that's really all that I need to know, I guess. And 
that's good because whenever I, you know, whenever this life is over and uh, things change and we get to that point to where things are happening in a different way, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'll be able to spend a thousand years on a single piece while I'm in heaven. And, uh, boy, I wonder what I could do in a thousand years on a single piece of artwork. Man, that would be something else, I bet. I ain't got that kind of time to spend on just one piece here on this planet. That's for sure. Anyway, shout out to anybody that else that likes all that science fiction stuff. I, you know, like I said, I'm not a freak about it, but you know, I enjoy watching watching a show from time to time. Some kind of new movie with some neat stuff. Anyway, we almost got this one done. Now you see what I mean? I said don't worry about making that blue line perfect on this side, just this side. You see, it's nice and smooth there, and it gives a smooth roll to it, and it makes it look like it's rolling across. And it's, you know, it's not that hard to do. It just takes a little while. I really enjoyed doing that ice dragon. That one was a lot of fun. It was really painstaking, though, but I had a good buzz. I, I was drinking wine that day. I wasn't feeling any pain. Had a nice Pinot Noir that day. Anyway, you come back in here. And you want to highlight up in here a little bit. Kind of make stuff pop out some. Like I said, you don't want to necessarily overwhelm it with color. Just a little bit here. And a little bit there if you want to add a certain effect in a certain way like that. And uh, you just keep going. Remember it takes this kind of paint longer to dry than it does that spray paint. So if you're going to do anything else after this you need to at least set it, let it set up overnight at the minimum before you really fool with it again. But you can accentuate this and accentuate this. You can come back in there with some different colors like, like some red. You got some red down in here so you could highlight some of these red edges. But I'm just going to go here with the white video I may come back and end up doing some more but probably not I've already got a buttload of detail in it right now I'm starting to get there anyways I really wanted to, most of the attention to be on the wave itself anyways I want this to be the attention and this and then you got all that going on down here some in here and draw some more attention over this way until you balance it out. See we need a little bit more white down here somewhere. You 
want to make sure that all your colors balance and it'll bring me bring you a focus there in the middle and then I think we just about got it folks I'm gonna call this the Nexus wave <laughs> 